pass in the days that there went on a decree in Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up to Galilee out of the city Nazareth into Judah, unto the city of David, which, was Beth which is called Bethlehem. Because he was one of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary as a spouse wife, being great with child, and so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she would be delivered. And then she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him for an event. No, no, no. Okay, when you're doing it King James style, let's do it Drew style. Hit it, Kyler. Our story begins long, long ago. An angel came, an angel came to Mary and said, Mary, do you know? Cause it's told on you, you are a very special lady. They will come soon for you to have a baby. Booyah! <laughs> no, no, Drew, we're not going to wrath, but Mary and Joseph must, must travel to Bethlehem to be counted. They must travel 50 miles to get there. Mary and Joseph couldn't find a place. Wait. Mary and Joseph, Mary and Joseph couldn't find a place to stay. There was no room in the in the inn. The only place for them to rest was a stable where the animals were kept. baby Jesus to be born, Mary and Joseph made their way back to the stable. Most stables weren't barns in, in those days, but caves. There Mary gave birth to Jesus, birth to baby boy, a baby boy named Jesus. The shepherds were watching the flocks by night in a field. An angel appeared to the shepherds, telling them of Jesus' birth. The shepherds went to the stable to see the young king. Mary did not wrap baby Jesus in a warm blanket. He, she wrapped him in strips of clothes, cloth called swaddling clothes. Mary did not um, lay baby Jesus in a bed. She laid him in a manger. A manger is where animals eat. 